Number four, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds. And then we have letter A, which is this drawing. Cool. Let's figure out what the molecular mass is of this compound. So the first thing that we have to do is when I see a drawing like this, I automatically just like to, to translate it into what it is, you know, as a compound written out. Like, for example, you know, NaCl or, you know, Na. 2O. Not in these drawings. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to translate this into a chemical formula. It does not matter what element you start with. So I'm just going to start with what's in the middle, right? I just, I'm just going to pick out what elements I see. So in this case, I see carbon, right? I see a C. I have an oxygen, right? And then I have a chlorine up top here, Cl, and then I have a chlorine down at the bottom. So technically I have one, and I'll just put like this equals, right? So technically I have one carbon, right? I only have one yellow dot. I have one oxygen, and then I have two green dots. So that means that I have two CLs. Now in order to find the, the molecular mass of the whole compound, we're going to list out our separate elements. So in this case, I'm going to just look at this now, because it's just easier, for me at least. I have carbon, I have oxygen, and I have chlorine. Now, we just stated how many of each we had, right, from the, the, the colors here, right? I said that I had one carbon, right? I had one oxygen, and I have two chlorines, right? There's secretly a one here, there's a one here, and there's a two over here. Now, all you have to do is just take these numbers, right, and multiply them by what the atomic mass is on the periodic table. Now, before I just start, this should be a 16 and not a 6. There we go. Okay. Now, I pulled up what I see on my periodic table. Your numbers might be a little bit different depending on what periodic table you use. The, the main thing here is that they're whole numbers for every element, and then there's like these decimal values. Which number is the atomic mass? It turns out that the decimal values are the mass numbers. Atomic mass, uh, molecular mass, whatever you want to say, right? I'll just say atomic mass. They all basically mean the same thing. And if we're doing atomic mass or molecular masses, this is an AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. So it's the, the lowest level of mass unit that we possibly have in AMU. These whole numbers are the atomic number. They are the number of protons in each element. So carbon has six protons, oxygen has eight, and chlorine has 17 protons. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply the mass values by each individual element. So for carbon, I have 12.01 AMU for every carbon. I have 16.00 AMU for every oxygen, and I have 35.45 AMU for every chlorine. Now let's just see how much total I got. So the first one, 1 times 12.01, .01 is 12.01 .01 AMU. Same thing for oxygen, 16 AMUs. And then I have 2 times 35.45 is 70.9. I'll just leave that as 70.90, and that is an AMU. And now I have to find the molecular mass or the total mass of the compound. So what am I going to do with these numbers? Yeah, all I got to do is just add them up. So I have that chlorine value plus 16 plus 12.01, and I get 98.91 AMU. And that is the total molecular mass or atomic mass, molecular mass, right, of this compound, the COCl2. And that's it. So guys... What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to the channel if you would like to, but if not, that's okay. All right. Maybe, maybe we'll get you in the next lesson. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and that you're studying hard. Chem is fun. It's not hard. And I'll be here every step of the way for you guys. Okay. So I will see you in the next lesson. All right. See you in a couple seconds. Bye-bye.